top copy 1964 heist film with comedic elements. If hearing that, you me immediately think Ocean's Eleven, you're on the right track, because I think both movies have quite a bunch of similarities. It's also been cited as the inspiration behind the original Mission Impossible TV series, and you can see traces of it in the movies as well. And apparently it's also one of Christopher Nolan's favorite movies ever. The story takes place in Istanbul, mainly, and it follows a group of people from various countries uh, with various skills who come together to break into a museum and steal a, a sultan's dagger that is adorned with four of the most beautiful emeralds in the world. Much like in the Ocean's Eleven, um, we watch the two central characters sort of first assemble the team, play, plan the heist, and then finally execute it, while also having the perspective of the police, who do suspect something is afoot, and do try to stop the group before they even manage to commit any crimes. Now, I have to say, for me, Top Copy is an extremely weird movie. It starts off as this odd B-film, the kind, the kind that looks cheap, but also has some immediate charm, and you don't quite know where it's actually going to go at first. Um, the first act especially, but to an extent also the second one, have like a slightly odd structure to them, where it seems like the movie is still figuring out what, what kind of story it wants to tell, and, and who, who's actually the main character even. Um, which started to make sense when I learned it's based on a book um, that is written in a similar way. But I do still think it doesn't quite work as well in the movie itself. I, I did find myself wondering, okay, where are we going with this? It's kind of meandering, a little unfocused, a little undecided. And then it gets to the final act, to the actual heist execution, and suddenly there's a massive improvement. The entire sequence of events in that final 30 minutes is just brilliant. It's smart in the way it employs the different characters for different tasks. It's engaging and exciting in the way it raises the stakes and maintains tension. It also plays with the set pieces and the stunts. Um, some of the elements of it are really quite ingenious and, and just like that, in a matter of minutes, it becomes a really, really fun film to watch. So I can kind of understand the people that enjoyed it and were inspired by it, because I think there are things to be impressed and inspired by. The central question for me is, is the fact that all those things are pretty much in the final half hour acceptable? Is it worth to sit through the weaker parts of the film just to get to the finale? Um, and I don't really have a definite answer. I, I, I don't think the good stuff for me completely outweighs the weak beginnings. But on the other hand, I also don't think it's, it's outright bad. It's just flawed, average, uh, the, those early parts of the film. On the whole, then, I, I'd say for me, it ever so slightly edges out on the side of the positives. And I'd say Top Copy overall is a decent film, with additional points if you're a fan of heist movies.